Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to look at how to make a cool globe to map style effect and we'll use a couple different modifiers I haven't shown before and here's just a quick look at what we'll learn how to do. We have a globe here, it's textured and it'll flatten itself out to look like a flat piece of paper. So you can go from that into a globe all in one easy step. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this out and then we're going to start from scratch. So go ahead and create a plane and I'm drawing it out and I want the length to be we'll just say 100 and the width should be double what the length is so we'll just make it 200 okay and for the the edges here uh, for the length segments I'm using 30 and 30 um, you just want enough so that when you're doing the bend modifiers which I'll get into soon enough that they have enough vertices to actually bend around to make a sphere so play with these numbers to whatever you need for your settings Okay, so we have our plane, and uh, let's just go ahead. I'm going to assign an image. This is an image that I think NASA created a long time ago of the world, and nice because it's free, and um, it's also a seamless texture. So these two edges here, and even the top and the bottom, all line up perfectly for use. And so once we have that, we can get started with actually making the globe. So for that, I'll use what's called a bend modifier, and this does what it says. It makes the geometry bend around in different angles depending on the axis and angle and direction that you use. Um, for this I'm going to go ahead and use angle of negative 180 and you can see that nothing happened just yet because the direction is still at zero so it's not actually telling it to do anything. And so direction I'll tell it to use 90 and then I'll use a Y uh, bend axis. So you can see here we have kind of like a just a u-shape tube half tube almost going around and obviously that does not look like a globe just yet so we'll go ahead and use a second modifier and it'll also be a bend and that'll take care of wrapping the globe around and for that I'll use uh, let's see an angle of negative 360 and then I'll use a direction of 180 and an axis on E and all of a sudden, hey, we have ourselves a globe. And now you can see here that uh, these vertices and faces are open on both the poles. And we can take care of that very easily with another modifier. And for that one, we will use what's called a vertex weld modifier. And um, if you play at the threshold here, you'll see you just play until you uh, have the vertices welded all together. So now we have both poles and even the seam, uh, I'm not sure exactly where it was, of the horizontal all welded together from this uh, weld modifier. And so to create the animation that I had at the beginning there that goes from either a plane to a sphere or a sphere to a plane depending on how you animate it, um, that's again very quick easy steps. Uh, I'll go ahead scroll down to 100 keyframes. Uh, you can make it however fast or slow as you need. I'm just using my default scenes here. I'm turning on auto key and I'm going into the bend modifiers. That's where I'll control the animation itself. And um, I only have to play with the angle. So I'll just tell it to be zero at frame 100 on bend one and do the same on bend two. And now you can see we have exactly what we started with. And so if I play the animation backwards or forwards, you can see the effect of the globe going from a piece of paper into a globe or a globe to a piece of paper, depending how you set it up. So that's pretty straightforward and easy, but it gives a nice cool effect. Um, I hope you like it. I hope this actually helps you out on a project. I had to actually use this at work one to, at one point, and that's where I kind of came up with figuring out this method. And uh, it worked quite well. Please remember to subscribe, like, leave comments, questions, and I'll always get back to you guys. See you later.